Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rakesh from motionstreet.com and I'm back with another exciting tutorial for After Effects. And in this video, we will learn how we can apply a very snappy and a stylish zoom transition on a video clip without using any third party plugins at all. You might have already seen this type of quick and smooth transition with slight variations over the internet but don't know how this is achieved? Then this video is for you. And this isn't going to be a very long one. So now, let's take a look on the preview. Having these type of transitions in your video really makes it look more professional and also holds people attention. So without any further ado, let's quickly roll the intro and jump straight into the After Effects. And here we are in the After Effects and as always everything starts here with a new composition. So we'll quickly create a new comp and we'll call this as Transition. Okay, and we'll again go with the dimension of 1920 by 1080 which is Full HD with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long with the background color is complete black. Now hit OK. Then we are going to import the clips that we'll be working on. So let's go to this file, click on import, click on file and quickly import the asset that you have. And then select these two clip, drag this into the timeline and then, okay, just put this one below the first clip. And then just do a right click anywhere in this timeline in order to create a new adjustment layer and then hit enter on your keyboard to rename it and let's call this as zoom in. Okay. And then we'll go to this edit, click on duplicate and then we'll again hit enter on the keyboard and we'll call this as zoom out like this okay make sense now we'll quickly just drag this uh, zoom out adjustment layer and we'll put this above the second clip okay and then let's move the time indicator to around four seconds select the top two clips and then hold alt or the option key and press close the square bracket on the keyboard in order to trim the layers and then we'll quickly drag these two layers and we'll place this right at the end of the first clip like this okay and now the time has come to apply the effects to achieve the transition that we are going for right so first of all make sure that if you don't have this effects and presets tab open on your screen you can always go to this window and make sure this effects and presets is checked right and then we'll quickly search in for effect which is transform right just drag this onto the top and then drag this onto this second adjustment layer like this okay now select the first one stay at 3 second and 15 frames and then we'll quickly select this, this layer and let's move into the transform effect and we will see a scale property so we have to drop a keyframe on the scale and let's move to 4 seconds in time and then we'll increase the scaling up to 300 like this and again we will select the second adjustment layer which is zoom out and here we have to decrease the scale amount down to 40 percent then drop a keyframe also let's move 15 frames forward in time and we'll set it back to 100 percent like this and now like we have you know, scaled down the clip size, the video size. So we have to cover this black areas in our scene. And in order to fix it, what we can do is we can apply a motion tile effect on our adjustment layer on this one. And make sure we have the motion tile effect on top of the transform. Otherwise, the motion tile won't work. So now here we have to just increase the output width and the output height to 300 and make sure to click on the mirror edges so that we don't have the sharp edges of our clip in our scene so just click on it and it's gone right and now we can see that we have just created a simple zoom in transition which doesn't even look very interesting right so in order to make it more snappier what we can do is we can uh, start working in the graph area right 
But first we will select all of the layers, hit U on the keyboard to see all of the keyframes and then select every one of it. And then hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them like this and then we will select only these two keyframes of the first layer then move into the graph editor and here we have to make sure that we are working in the edit value graph not in the edit speed graph so we have to switch on this one and now we can select these two points which will again uh, create a handle for us to manipulate the curve so we have to tweak the curve something just like this and we can also stretch this one a bit i think this would this will work i guess yeah and this in the same way we have to select these two keyframes go to the graph editor and we will again manipulate the curve to something something like this i guess yeah and now if we see the preview what we can see is yeah this is what we were actually going for this is looking really really nice now so now the the transition is looking quite snappy and smooth right but still our transition is lacking a bit of a smoothness because the mirrored images that we have in this clip is somewhat still noticeable and this is something that we really don't want right then how we can fix it actually after effects already comes with a inbuilt effect named as force motion blur so if you search under effects and presets you will find the inbuilt effect which is force motion blur so just drag this onto the top of the layer and it will do the hard work for you because it will automatically create the blurriness that we wanted in our scene right and similarly we'll also apply the same force motion blur effect onto the top of this adjustment layer so that we can see the blur after effect has automatically generated for us on this clip so we can see very clearly if we change the resolution to full and this is what we have on this clip so if we want to change the blur amount we can do it in the motion blur sample so let's change the value from 8 to 10 on this layer and also on this adjustment layer let's change the value to 10 and now if we see the preview we will find something like this and this is looking pretty cool yeah this is what we were actually going for so after doing this much of work what we can do is we can give a spin to our transition by using the rotation property under the transform effect but let me tell you that this is an optional piece of work we are doing to enhance our transition okay so first of all we'll place our time indicator on this keyframe then let's quickly select this adjustment layer drop a keyframe on the rotation let's go to the last keyframe of this layer and let's rotate this to minus 30 degree like this and then we'll click on this adjustment layer and let's quickly drop a keyframe so we have to rotate this by 30 degree first of all and then we will jump onto the last keyframe and here we will make it back to zero like this and again just select all of the layers hit u to close them and again select all of the layers hit u to see the keyframes and then we can just select these two keyframes and hit f9 on our keyboard to easy ease them and then again select these two as well hit f9 to easy ease them also right then we'll again quickly uh, uh, move into the graph editor by selecting the keyframes and then we'll again do the same thing so we will quickly select both the points and then select the handle and this time we will make the curve to something like this and also stretch this point to somewhere here and again let's click on this rotation and we will select both the points again and we'll quickly tweak the curve or the graph in this manner right and now if we see the preview let's first of all decrease the resolution and if we see the preview yeah this is looking really nice but i think we can decrease the transition time by 10 frames and also will decrease the duration on this layer as well so now if we see the preview this is what we have 
as of now and it is looking really good yeah and finally we can do one more thing is that we can make our entire scene look cinematic so in order to do it we can quickly create a new solid layer and let's call this as crop and we'll keep the color as black hit ok and then let's quickly uh, select this rectangle tool and we'll turn on the title action safe but make sure this crop layer is selected and then let's quickly create a mask on this layer something like this and we'll also click on this invert it and now we can turn it off and there you go this is what we have made so far so let's quickly select all of the layers hit you to close them and then hit b on the keyboard and let's place it at five uh, seconds and then we'll hit n on the keyboard so that we can loop between these two and right so this is what we have made so far okay and this is looking really really amazing and yes here we are with our final result and we just saw that how much it is easy to create and apply these type of transitions between two clips and the most essential part of the entire concept is how we play with the graphs if we do it right it will automatically generate the desired result and we can also create a number of different transitions with slight variations like zoom out, optical zoom, hyper zoom, RGB split and a lot more. So yeah that's the wrap up for today guys and thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like the transition then please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any creative upcoming tutorial. And if you are searching a template for a project then please do visit our website and download the template that suits you the best. And lastly, don't forget to follow me as Motion Street on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep dreaming, keep creating. Peace out.